Hey folks, welcome back to Wooden Tool Man's channel and welcome back to my shop. So what I want to do in this video is just talk to you a little bit about um, getting this drum turned down this way. So uh, just go over the jig a little bit. This was just something that was just made quick. I don't plan on using this again, so I didn't make it pretty and it's not adjustable. All I did was just take a piece of uh, scrap melamine, just made it the right height, you know, and I got my, you know, set my bearing in both sides, drilled a few pocket holes and made sure that this was perfectly even toward the front here and uh, and then what I did was you know I set this thing in so before I did that obviously I had to attach something to my table saw so I needed something thicker so that that would run on so I had this uh, th thicker piece around and just clamped this to the front of my saw making sure that it was perfectly tight to the front of the saw and then I needed a, a spacer stick because I didn't have my my a wide enough board laying around that would uh, that would bring that far enough forward so then this would just run up against that so then as you can see I just pushed it to the side I raised my blade to the height that I knew I was going to need did the same thing on both sides then I just flipped it over and chopped that out with my saber saw so then I was able to uh, to you know as you've seen in the video just do the, the spin in here and I found that I had to spin it a certain way if I let this go when the table saw would spin it it would just rev it up like crazy you've seen that in part of the video where I was holding the shaft and trying it that way but it didn't do as good a job I had to roll this back toward me like this and therefore go against the the saw blade and then it would do a real nice smooth job like you see here uh, so then you know before that you've seen in the video I was gluing up my my pieces well, I just glued them up, I put them all together, and then I put a washer on each end. I cinched that right up tight, and I didn't worry about any twist. It didn't matter. You know, when I was done, the whole thing was kind of twisted, because I was going to round it out anyway. And uh, so then once I had it, you know, cinched right up, right tight, I didn't even use any clamps. I just brought it over, geared this thing up, and turned it down. It took about 13 minutes to, from the time I started the video. That's how the, long the video was without doing any editing. So... I wanted to check this once I was done and I didn't have any calipers so I just geared this up right quick uh, just a few pieces of wood nailed together and then a hole drilled in them so that I could have these bolts come out each end and this gives me some adjustment now I want to be able to test this I'm just able to adjust this up now as you can see and and if I test this thing it's the perfect consistency all the way down this thing this drum I'm literally amazed because I didn't even have to do any adjustment on it I just made sure that everything was tight everything was consistent and when I ended up this is what I ended up with I shut the video off last night and when I came in this morning I just made this thing up right quick and tested it and it seems to be it turned out just perfect so the other thing I wanted to mention about this drum was you know the fact that I used MDF on this and there's a number of reason why uh, number one MDF is very consistent thickness and it's very consistent as far as density goes because if I was to use real wood in this or even plywood I would think that sometimes plywood would have different densities you know you might have an air pocket you've all seen that when you cut a piece of plywood there would be a hollow spot and uh, but with MDF it's not like that so MDF is very consistent density and the reason why you'd want to worry about that is is you see how easy this drum spins it takes very little effort to spin this well if I take something like is something as light as this washer and just stick it to the side of this thing I want to show you what will happen look at this drum go it's gonna go right to the bottom but if I put this to the top again and I take this washer off this drum will not move I can't get it to go that way it'll just go and stop without and that tells me that this is perfectly balanced now so if I really rev this up this thing isn't gonna vibrate but if I had if this washer if it was out of uh, at a, at a balance by this much I wouldn't be surprised that this thing would just shake and go on uh, so if you're gonna try to do this it would be best to uh, to make it an MDF and then make sure you have a set of calipers to check your your uh, size to make sure it's consistent and then you get it that far uh, we're gonna be ready for step number two so I'm not quite sure what that is just yet but um, I know that you're going to need a roll of duct tape. I think I'm going to probably make the little gearbox next. We got to build a little gearbox for this and uh, something to make them roll or spin slow enough. So that'll likely be 
the next part of this thing and then it'll just be a matter of uh, I guess we got a few more rollers to make too and I, I'm pretty sure that I'm just going to make them you know smaller than this obviously and just cover them with sandpaper as well and that'll as long as we are running on smooth melamine uh, this thing should pull through pretty slick so hopefully you guys will take the time to push the like button and if you, uh, you're not a subscriber take the time to subscribe too you're not going to want to miss this and have a look at my other videos too you're going to see all kinds of cool homemade tools you know the belt sander the the little disc sander we got the floating routers with the lathe and we're going to visit revisit them too um, after especially after playing around with and, and seeing how good a job this does with the table saw there's no reason why I can't couldn't carve a, a profile with this if I had some sort of saw geared up to be able to do that because this thing did an amazing beautiful job uh, MDF is probably one of the hardest materials to carve like this and uh, and this did an awesome job and I could just see this I gotta revisit the lathe on this anyway so you guys keep tuning in I thank you for watching this video and we'll see you next time